This is a CBS 4 News update. Good morning, I'm Maribel Rodriguez. Two residents at a Pompano Beach senior living facility have died from COVID-19, and five other residents have tested positive for the virus. That information coming from a spokesperson for the court at Palm Air Community. The spokesperson said five residents are under quarantine at a hospital. They also say they, were wor they are working with the city of Pompano Beach to minimize the spread of the virus and monitoring all residents and staff doing regular temperature checkups. Meantime, Miami Mayor Francis Suarez has weighed in on the debate to reopen the economy he wants it to happen on a local level, not a state or federal one. I think the best way to deal with this is locally. You, you know, every city is different. Miami is not New York. Uh, New York is not uh, Oklahoma City. You know, they, all the cities are different. They have different densities. Uh, they have different topographies and that and different climates. And that all affects uh, how much the, the, you know, the, the virus can propagate in their community. The U.S. Constitution gives governors a power to set and lift restrictions. Governor Ron DeSantis has indicated he hopes to reopen parts of Florida as soon as it is safe to do so. One thing South Florida does have is enough of hospital bed space. However, in preparation for any possible surge in cases, a temporary field hospital is being built inside the Miami Beach Convention Center. The plan is to not use it at all. However, if our permanent hospitals do get overwhelmed, the 450 bed facility would open. Yesterday, the defense secretary said Miami remains on the short list of cities that could need help next. Uh, we're looking at uh, putting two urban our army uh, medical task forces into Boston, for example. We're looking at deploying personnel to Miami. Uh, I mentioned some other places where we are. Uh, Chicago may be uh, where we may move the Seattle uh, Army Field Hospital from Seattle to there, but FEMA makes that decision, not us, as a reminder. And there are other cities out there as well that we're just trying to lean forward into and stay ahead of. The facility in Miami Beach is said to be ready next week. Florida's projected day for peak hospital resource use is currently May 3rd. And today is April 15th, which is normally the deadline to file your federal income taxes. Weeks ago, the IRS pushed the date back until July 15th. However, some people could be getting money today. Treasury Secretary Steven Mnuchin says roughly 80 million Americans will receive a stimulus check from the government, hoping to help ease the financial crunch caused by the pandemic. Most of the money will be received via direct deposit. The Treasury Department says the first batch of paper checks will be going out next week. Now, CBS4 Weather with meteorologist Lisette Gonzalez. I'm CBS4 meteorologist Lisette Gonzalez reporting weather from home and a front is across North Florida but not bringing us the cool down. Instead, we're going to be heating up ahead of it and we are waking up to a dry start. Later on, could see a few storms. Upper 70s and low 80s for now, but highs climb to the low 90s and it'll feel more like the upper 90s due to high humidity. Breezy with a chance for a few storms later, but the rain chance higher tomorrow, which is good news. We need the rain and not as hot late week Friday to Saturday highs in the upper 80s. And that's the news for now. You can always find us on CBSMommy.com and tune into CBS 4 News at 5, 6, 7, and 11 for all of today's important headlines.